When I've prayed with people in the past, I've been surprised how many people have regret over something that happened once upon a time. And I'm even more surprised that they cannot get beyond that. That they live sometimes every day in an event that happened 20 years ago or more. I pray that you are able to get past regret in Ezekiel 36, verse 26, the Bible says this, I will give you a new heart. I will put a new spirit within you. Well, what does that mean? It means that when you have the touch of God upon you, you're not the person you were yesterday. Not your mistakes, not your regrets, not your feelings of guilt. You are a new person in Christ. And you have this new heart inside of you. Not that that beats in your chest, but the heart of your human mind. The mind that remembers, the mind that thinks ahead, the mind that thinks in the present. You are a new person. You are living in this new shell of the temple of the living God. And you have a new spirit inside of you. Your soul is new. And therefore, your mind and your body is new. If you are mired in the quicksand of regret, it is time this day to pray for an escape. How do you do so? Well, as I've been saying, you can start learning to accept the past and trust God with your future. You are not the person you used to be, and therefore you forgive that immature spirituality, and you realize because you're a new person in Christ, you're not going to repeat the mistakes that you did yesterday. My friend, Life holds few, if any, rewards for those that insist on remaining angrily focused on the deeds and misdeeds of yesterday. Usually, we are most angry at ourselves. Sometimes, it's at others. When we forgive and when we move on, even though that can be difficult as we first learn to do that, we realize that we can move on. And we realize that we can become new. If you are quick to anger, if you're quick to blame, if you're slow to forgive, and even slower to forget, Realize this is not God's way. And God's will for you is to live in God's loving way. To forgive just as we have been forgiven. If you have not made peace with your past, I ask you to begin today. If you ask God to, God will give you a new heart and a new spirit inside of you. And then from this new spirit and this new heart, you can move past the regrets of yesterday to a point that you are living in the present in contentment and joy. And that is my prayer for you. God bless you.